Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Satisfactory. Multiplayer Let's Play, another episode. We are, uh, we're about to abandon this base, or change it, or something. We realize now that it's not going to work long term. Uh, it was a nice temporary solution, but this is just a disaster, and we don't really have uh, anywhere to go with stuff. We didn't plan this out very well, so we're going to redo it. So in the meantime, we're just going to handcraft a couple of milestones here. Or the stuff for a couple of milestones for this. This is a big one. We want this one. Tier 4 belts. Fuel gen. Um, you know. And maybe we'll do this one. Maybe this one by hand. Yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of heavy modular frames. Probably not. We'll probably just do this one. Maybe one more by hand. And then we're going to go. We're going to do some exploring. Look for a potential base spot. And, and maybe it'll end up being here. Who knows. But. Yeah, this isn't going to work long term, so we need to figure it out. So that's going to be the main thing we're going to do tonight. So let's uh, handcraft a few more computers here. How many do we need? 32? So yeah, so I'm, we're almost ready for this uh, expanded power infrastructure here. I just need to make three, now two more computers. Throw those in. And yeah, as soon as purple gets on, we're going to go, uh, we're going to go uh, find a new base spot. Because this just isn't cutting it. It's my bad. I didn't... Like I've played deep enough into this game to know that this kind of just set up for a storage room without a, without a place to really to, to split stuff off. Like there's no place to really split stuff off here. It's just... I know better. <laughs> so this is on me. Sea Guns is currently working on a little Caterium setup. We want to get that automated too in case we need Caterium for anything before we really uh, relocate. So that's the plan tonight, is to figure out where we're going with our base and get that started. Basically, it's the plan. So I'll be back when we figure it out. All right, so we went on a field trip. We came all the way over to the far side of the map. The, uh, the dune desert kind of just explored around a little bit. And honestly, we were kind of uh, underwhelmed with the uh, with the nodes that there were here. So I, think we're not, I don't think we're going to build out here. I think we're just going to go back, we're going to tuck our tail between our legs, and we're going to re rebuild this base, and we're going to build it right. It was worth the trip, though. I can't speak for the other two guys, but I personally got uh, 13 green power slugs, one yellow power slug, and one hard drive. I know Purple got a, two or three hard drives, so it was worth the trip, <laughs> without a doubt. So yeah, so I think we're going to, like I said, tuck our tail between the legs, between our legs, head back to where we started, and try to Try to fix it. Try to fix our mistakes that we made. So that's where we're at right now. Gonna see if I can find any more uh, <laughs> power slugs while we're out here. And then I'm gonna head back. So uh, we'll be back once we... Uh, oh, look at that scary boy up there. And a little less scary... Or wait, oh, no, it's one of the top ones. <laughs> so it's kind of scary. So I'm just gonna run. I don't want to fight the two of them at the same time. Basically where I'm at right now plus that one too probably would have joined the fight this one I'll, I'll fight this one now he's running I'll let him live today all right so I'm gonna head back and uh we're trying to get this get this sorted out so I'll be back all right so change of plans we're gonna build a base here it's nice it's flat it's relatively central it's got a nice view should be big enough we might have to build build out over the canyon but with that it should be plenty big uh, the only problem is it's it's not all that close to our original base. Just way over here. That's fine. We'll uh we'll get some trains on the go here. We'll get some hyper tubes on the go. Run some power out. We'll get all that going. And uh, yeah, we're gonna build a base out here. That's the plan at least. So <laughs> wish us luck. We're gonna need it. All right, so I'm gonna head back to base now. Uh, I think maybe we're gonna research trains. Get some train tracks going, and we will go from there. It'd be good. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to it, actually. I've never built there, so one of the reasons I want to play multiplayer so I can take advantage of new strategies, new areas, you know, new ways of doing things. Purple said he has built there before, so so let's let's go. He said it worked for him. I trust his judgment. So uh, we're all in agreement, so we're going to roll with it. Oh, oh, don't fall down. No, that was close. All right, I'll be back soon. All right, so we're starting to work on our new base, which is over there. Sea Guns is starting to lay down base, lay down, 
lay down foundations. Words are hard. I started running hypertubes out. I ran out of copper sheets. I didn't quite get there. I got like 80% of the way there. Purple is working on train tracks. He's going to lay some train out here. So we don't have to make a million, gazillion, billion trips back and forth. I just put this out so we can power this for a little while at least. So I'm going to go back, get some more copper sheets, and uh, finish the hypertubes. Oh my god, this is slow. I need to put booster at the end. But obviously not right now, because that's just a temporary entrance. This is a long trip. So I might as well, uh, <laughs> might as well take an AFK, I guess, <laughs> while I'm in this hypertube. Well, there's a section coming up where I slammed a couple entrances in quick success, and hopefully that speeds me up here. Actually, I'm going to start going downhill too, I think. Yeah, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, now we're going downhill, so that's much better. All right, so I'm going to uh, put a little break in here. Like I said, go back to base, get some copper sheets, finish that off, and we will go from there. We got a, we got a big task ahead of us here. But uh, I think we're up to it. It should be good. I'll be back. All right, so I managed to get the, uh, the hypertube all the way out. I see Guns has just got some biomass burners here. Or a biomass burner. Going to keep it going. Keep it running. So he's just uh, laying some foundations. Right now getting the base down. The base of the base. Um, he also set up some... <laughs> Some quick concrete production because he didn't have any on him, but I ran a bunch out to him, so now he should be good. Probably don't need this set up anymore, but it also doesn't hurt to have it, I'm sure. So now, so purple's bringing trains out. So the plan is with the trains. So I ran the, uh, I ran the hypertubes basically through the the natural road that goes through the northern forest here. So he's planning to run a train track through there as well, and then we'll have the trains come down loop down into the canyon somehow and come back around this way so we'll have a full loop so they'll go by our oil setup which is here and then they'll go by our steel setup and then back to the space so we'll kind of have one train loop is the plan and i'm sure eventually we'll make a train loop maybe out here or wherever as we need stuff you know we'll build additional train loops and, and whatnot but so we need to figure out you know so we get the we'll get a bunch of foundations down we'll get the base down then we'll figure out you know where the storage area is going to be figure out where the train station is going to be and then we'll start building that start getting our infrastructure in place uh, we got, just got to make sure we scale it large enough because that was our problem the first base so what we're going to do with storage this time last time we just had a single storage container right so what we're going to do this time basically we're going to stack three on top of each other like this and then there'll be storage containers on the opposite side, kind of like we did the other one. But what's going to happen is stuff will come in on this side, and then it'll filter down to this one because we'll put in a, an elevator, obviously, or a lift going, uh, going down like that, right? And then a lift coming down like this. So everything, it'll go in up there filter down filter down but what we'll do is we'll have an output belt oh sweet ah. we'll have an output belt here right that can feed to wherever else we need whatever happens to be in this storage right is the plan so that way we can we can we can split stuff off essentially but we still have this storage container won't get touched right that was our problem in the other one is we were trying to split stuff off but that meant the storage container wasn't getting <laughs> any product at all right or we were we were risking completely emptying something so this system uh, alleviates that now you will have the problem if you're splitting off and taking if you're taking your whole load out eventually this will empty potentially right but i think this system is much better and actually it doesn't even need to be this high the top one the top one doesn't need to be a big one that can actually be a, a, a small uh storage container right it doesn't need to be a big one that would work right just as well actually the bottom one doesn't need to be a big one either but i said we'll probably go with this the middle one needs to be a big one because it needs the uh 
two outputs, right? Anyway, that's the plan. We're going to put it in action, see what we can do, see if we can not screw this up. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we can figure this out. <laughs> All right, I am back at the old base, base 2.0, I guess, <laughs> so to speak. And I kind of uh, bootstrapped computers and heavy modular frames. We were kind of putting it off. So the heavy modular frames are going pretty well. I think it's probably waiting for screws. No, it's not waiting for screws. So this will should be 100% efficiency soon. I did have to uh, jack up our screw production because between this, that's 200 per minute. This one's 130 per minute, so that's 330 per minute. We were not making that much. We were making 200, but I doubled it. So now we're making 400 per minute. The problem is uh, circuit boards. I mean, it's not a problem yet. We are technically still ahead of the curve, but uh, we're only making 10 circuit boards per minute. So we are going to run out and this will slow down. But I mean, this is just, we need these because purple needs them for train stations. It's going to be really hard to make train stations by <laughs> if we're making computers and heavy modular frames by hand constantly. Right. So that's why, that's why I set this up. And it actually wasn't that hard to set up surprisingly. Oh, there's a circuit board. Hello. But I mean, it might be, might be in our best interest to go out and increase circuit board production. Possibly. I don't know. I might go take a look at that. I'll talk to Purple, see what he thinks. Uh, can I get a, an idea of exactly how many of each of those he needs to make his train stations as well? So I'll talk to him, see what he thinks. Uh, Seagun said he's got all the platforms of our base floor at least down out there. So I'm curious. I want to go out and take a look, see what he's got. And uh, yeah, so I'll be back. All right, so I came out to the oil setup and I made it look less good. I'm sorry, purple, but I just, I had to put in, I put in an extra assembler for more, uh, more of these. Oh, I'm not getting enough Coke. Let's change that, shall we? Now it's going to get enough Coke. So this is 180 per minute and I'm using, yeah, less. But if we were, I was splitting, we were splitting this off. Now we're not. So now we should be getting plenty of coke. See, I basically, I had to just, uh, I had to redistribute some of the petroleum coke. I had to redistribute some of the rubber. And yeah, it looks less good now, but it works. And like I said, we, so we got an extra one now. So this is 100% efficiency. It wasn't earlier. It's up, excuse me, it's up to 90. Perfect. And what percentage is this one at? 91 but it was waiting for coke which it shouldn't wait for coke now and i had to this is the ugly part he had it all nice looped around coming around there and i just i just did this it's ugly but it works i'm sorry purple but i just needed it to work that's still technically not enough uh circuit boards like we need more to, to for our computer machine to be running at full efficiency we don't need it to run at 100% efficiency. We just need it to run, right? Because we it's not like we need massive amounts of computers right now. We just need enough computers to get some train stations on the go. And then we can kind of start looking at making a real base, essentially. Well, that's pretty. Is that sunrise, I guess? All right, anyway. Going to go back, head to the new base, and uh, see what we can do. See what Sea Guns has been up to. All right, so I'm just headed back to the new base. Uh, let's see what Sea Guns has been up to. He says he's got a lot of stuff down. Oh, you can see him working right now. Yeah, this is a pretty, uh, pretty beefy looking base already. All right, well let's uh, let's pop up and take a look. How do I get up? <laughs> right there. Perfect. Yeah, no, this is uh. I think this is going to be sufficiently large. <laughs> All right, so where is the train station? That's what we need to figure out. We need to build our storage area roughly on top of it. So I guess it's down here, obviously. If that's the train tracks going up, I guess. No, that's not the train tracks. Where are the train tracks? Over here. Down here? Yeah. So the train station must be right under here. This thing is in the way. This thing kind of sucks. 
Can we build over it? Nope. No, oh, no, we can. Build right through it, apparently. <laughs> Alright, so that's good. So yeah, we'll put the storage area probably around here somewhere. We'll just touch base with the guys, make sure they approve of that. But yes, yeah, Guns has been busy. While, uh, while I was off farting around there with the oil. So I'm just going to uh, drop this down and put some uh, concrete in it for him. And yeah, so I'm going to uh, maybe start making the storage area now, probably. And I'll be back uh, probably when that's done. Cool. All right, so got a new plan here. Originally, we were going to bring stuff in from the top and work our way down. Oh, alternative fluid transport. Instead, we're going to start at the bottom and go up. Just for logistics reasons, it'll be much easier, I think. So basically, we're going to stuff's coming from the train station over there. Come in here, go in here, then it'll go up to this storage, then up to that storage. And what's going on? Oh, see, this is putting foundations down. Um, but, and then, of course, we will take stuff out through here if we need it for anything else. Yeah, but the, the trick will be we will, we will need to get up uh, to we will have to have a foundation level of right there that we will have to run through to get stuff that's fine we can do that we might do a foundation might do a walkway actually we could probably do or maybe glass foundations might look cool I'm not sure but that's the plan, but I'm going to have to redo a whole bunch of things. And yeah, I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> Future Looch is going to hate current Looch. Um, because, so yeah, we're going to have a whole bunch of things coming from the train station. And going up here. That's going to be a bit of a nightmare, honestly. But I will worry about that. That's fine. But yeah, I like the train station purple built. He built quite a long train network, actually. So let's uh, let's take a look at that. Basically, it. Uh, do I have everything I need for this? Yes. So basically, it comes starts here. Obviously, comes through the uh, black not black forest, the northern forest uh, kind of natural road, and then, uh, ends up here. Then it goes down here, loops around, goes through the uh, the desert canyon, I believe. I don't know. I haven't been through here yet, so this is my first time. First time, not my first time driving a train. It's my first time driving a train through here. So the the train is going to do a complete loop, go between our two bases, and we'll probably put in some put in an extra stop by our oil production for sure. And we might uh, end up putting an extra stop out this way, right? If we want to exploit some of the uh, resources out by the Red Dune Desert or whatever it's called. So it comes down, goes into the canyon. Yeah, our oil is where? It's like right out here, right? So we'll probably put a stop in somewhere around here so that we can get the oil. I think it's like, oh, look at that sunrise. Beautiful day on, was it Massage AB2 or whatever this planet's called? See, that looks like Purple had to uh, do some zigging and zagging to get the, uh, get the old train tracks through here, but it looks like he got it done. So I'm just going to go back to base here, take a look at the train station that he built. The original base, we still need to hook that all up. Of course, it's going to be a borderline nightmare, but I volunteered to do that because I'm a dumb-dumb. I'm dumb -dumb. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm actually curious to see... Uh, oh, look at the power slug over there. I'll be back for you. I think I won't. Um, I'm curious to see how he got this to go through this area with the steel and power because it's already a mess wonder if he went under it over it did he manage to go through it another power slug be back for you as well looks like he went over it yeah good idea purple <laughs> just don't even bother with this catastrophe of a mess look at the belts oh my god that's ugly that needs to be fixed well Factory tour, I guess. Oh, I guess he moved that belt there. And up we go, and around, and we are almost back. So that right over there is the outbound train track. So we have to hook up a couple of, well, more than a couple. 
train stations. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be tomorrow though. Check the Mamluks good circuit board recipe. Oh, nice. That's gonna be all for this episode. Let's uh, oh, let's get the brake on. Oh, slow down, slow down. I keep forgetting that it takes a while for the brake to kick in. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we're stopped. Oh, we almost fell off. So let's go look at this recipe here. I'm curious. I think there's a ma'am over here still. Can I jump across here? Sure can. All right, so let's take a look at the ma'am. Ooh, yeah. Plastic and Gaterium circuit boards. Okay. Okay, so that would give us a good use for Caterium. Let's grab that. So we got a few circuit board recipes now. I think that's all our hard drives, though. That's fine. Anyway, it feels like we didn't accomplish a whole lot tonight. But on the other hand, we did accomplish a lot. I know Purple and Seagun certainly felt like they accomplished a lot. Because they did. Purple did all this train system. Seagun's basically laid all those foundations out there. And I kind of just spread it around. Uh, I put the stuff up here. Tried to get my storage area on the go. So I'm going to have to be a rock star tomorrow because I was, I was the slacker tonight. The other two guys did much more than I did. I, I put these in. I accomplished that much. It wasn't much, but it was something. Anyway, that's going to be all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check me out on Twitter. Check me out on Twitch. Join my Discord. Be good to each other. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.